For the 90-90 balloon breathing, you want to start with your legs at 90 degrees up on something. So right now I'm on a windowsill. Um, this could be a chair or a couch, but the key is getting those knees about 90 degrees, not too high, not too low. And you're going to find something to squeeze in between your knees. Um, in this case, I'm using a foam roller. You can use a ball or a towel, just anything to kind of create some of that tension there. Um, the rules here are you want to feel like you're trying to scrape mud off the bottom of your shoes. Um, the key to that is try to turn these hamstrings on. So you don't want too much activation through the calf. You don't want too much activation through the quad. You should really feel this mostly in the hamstrings. And I want you to feel like you tilt your tailbone off the ground and squeeze this foam roller. So squeeze tight here. You're going to feel the inside of your thighs working. You should feel the back of the hamstrings working. And you should feel the bottom of your core working. So from there, holding that position, you're going to take a deep breath in through your nose. And I want you to feel like you're expanding both your chest and your belly at the same time. And then you're going to push as much air into the balloon as you can. After you push all that air out, you're going to hold the air out for three seconds. Take another deep breath in through your nose. And then push the air out again. Hold there for three seconds. We're that five times without taking the balloon out of your mouth. Um, keeping that balloon in the mouth is going to keep your diaphragm engaged through this whole process, which is the goal of this. Um, so it'll look like this. After five breaths, you let the air out and then repeat it as many times as necessary. 